Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. We've made it to the halfway part of this week. Um, excited about that. I don't know about you, but I am. And we got some coffee this morning. Hope you do. Um, and I hope you're enjoying these. We, these are starting to take a little traction. We're starting to get outside the church a little bit. I think that's amazing that we're doing that and that we are spreading God's word this way. So uh, thank you to everyone who supports that. And uh, it, we couldn't do it without you. Uh, especially the people that are here that call this church home and family. Thank you so much for that. So Monday, we talked about how this world was in our home and that this world would end sometime and that we had to stay out of the world, that we didn't want to become slaves to the world. And today, John keeps that theme a little bit, and he goes on with this. And this is 1 John 2, 24 through 25. It says, you must refrain, you must remain faithful to what you have been taught from the beginning. You must remain faithful to what you have been taught from the beginning. We got to stay faithful. From the beginning, when you met Jesus and, and your salvation happened, when you accepted him into your life and you believed, from that day forward, we are to remain faithful. Not only just faithful to Jesus, but faithful to his people and faithful to his commandments. It's called repentance as we catch ourselves sinning both in omission and commission. Uh, we need to be faithful. See, it's not just the top 10 that we have to worry about. It's God's will in our life. And I don't know what that is for you. It's different for all of us. And I've always talked about the kind of simpler ones where you drive by somebody and you see them pulled over on the side of the road and you get that kind of eerie feeling, that stomach feeling like you should stop and help and you just kind of drive on. Well, that's sin. That's the Holy Spirit leading you in a direction. And and to remain faithful, we have to get in tune with that whisper of God's voice. And I know like Wednesday today, it's that hump day. It's the day that we're a little cranky and, and we don't want to be doing this. And we, we're not quite over the edge looking to Friday. And so that's why they call it hump day, right? It's that day that, that we just have to remain faithful to. That we know that the end is coming. Just like we know Friday is coming, we know that the end is coming. When John talked about it on Monday, is that the, the world will come to an end sometime. That it has a, it, it has a timeline. That, that it has an expiration date. But that we know eternity does not. And it goes on with that same theme with this. It says, if you do, you will remain in fellowship with the Son and with the Father. And so we're going to remain in fellowship with the Son and the Father. That means that we're going to be a big family. It says that we're saints. Other places of the Bible, Paul calls us saints. And then in 25, it says this, And in this fellowship, we enjoy the eternal life he promises us. And that's along with that same theme, that as the world expires, as we see it unravel, we know that it might have that expiration date, but eternity with the Son and the Father, with our big brother Jesus and our dad, never will. That's what we hold on to today. It's Wednesday. We don't want to be doing this, but we know we need to remain faithful says that we should work hard, not as for our earthly bosses, but as working for the Lord, our God. Remain faithful. When you do that, other people see it, and they're in tune with it, and they believe you're a believer because of the way that you act, not by what you say or what you have on your desk or what music you listen to. It's how you act and how you treat them, and, and we make them want to be like us by that. So let's go out and remain faithful today. What do you think? I think we can. Listen, I love you all, man, and I'm praying for you. I know that these times are hard. I know some of you believe this, some of you don't, the things that are going on in the world. I know we have protests going on. I know that we have a big election coming up soon, and we're all a little nervous about that. But just remember, everything has an expiration except for the eternity with the Father and with the Son. Let's remember that. All right, let's pray. Father God, we love you. God, thank you so much for your Son, Jesus. Thank you for these people. Thank you for this opportunity that you give me to spread your word today. And God, if it's by paper or if it's by video, Father, we want to continue to spread the word, either face-to-face -face or in this medium that we have. God, we know that, that your methods will change, that our methods will change, but your promise never fails. It never changes. No matter how we reach people, no matter how we get that message out, Father, we have to know that your message is the same always. God, thank you for your son. God, I hope that everyone down this lens knows him. And if they don't, Father, I hope that they find him. And if it's not at our church, if they don't find him with us, that they find him with somebody else. But God, I'm praying that they will find him. God, thank you for all you do. We love you. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.